My name's Annie. Hi, I'm Christina and we're medical photographers at the University Hospitals Bristol. Uh, I did a photography A-level. I then went to university and I did photojournalism at university. I then got a traineeship in, in Wales, in Lantricent, and during that I had one day a week study and I did my postgraduate certificate in medical illustration whilst getting paid for the traineeship. This is a Nikon D300, so it's a digital SLR camera. Uh, we've got the 60mm lens on, which is quite standard. We use it a lot throughout the hospital. And we've got an extra battery pack on as well, uh, which we can use if we're going off on a big PR job or we're going to be wandering around the hospital all day. There are a couple of other routes into medical photography um, and it's probably worth looking at the Institute of Medical Illustrators website which kind of tells you um, these other ways of going in whether it be doing a degree in medical illustration or um, you know different on the job training schemes. So this is the light meter that we use to get the exposure um, that we're going to use to photograph this bone um, and what we wanted to do is just to check that the lights were all balancing and that we were getting the same exposure from each light and um, we, we were getting an, an f-stop of f16 which is the aperture in the camera and, um, and that gives us a nice um, sharp fo uh, in focus picture. Um, well, I photographed diabetic foot ulcers the first time I was out on the ward um, and it was actually quite a gory sight. There was a lot of damage to the foot and it was quite a large ulcer. So it was important for me to keep um, a sort of straight face and be calm and reassure the patient, but it was very nerve wracking. Um, the lights that we're using, we've got a diffuser on here just to make the light more even and spread out and that stops any harsh shadows that we might get otherwise. Um, I thought that being a medical photographer would be a good way to get into forensics because that was originally what I wanted to do, um, but I'm quite happy doing this now, but it, it overlaps quite a lot. We do a lot of work in the mortuary and we work with the police for victims of crime. We sometimes photograph them for the police. Okay, so this is the kit that we carry around with us. Um, as well as the 60mm lens, we've got this 105 which is a bigger lens which we use for close-up, so maybe a patient's interesting mole. And then we've also got a wide angle, this is a 17 to 35 millimetre lens, and this is good for getting the whole body in during a theatre shot, for example. Yes, get some work experience in a hospital. Most large hospitals have a medical illustration department and they're usually really willing to help. Um, I, particularly, I did some work experience as well, as did Christina. And everyone I know who's got a job as a medical photographer has had to do work experience throughout uh, A-levels or during university.